Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to change all same component options at once in Tecla structures. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with the US environment. Now we're going to create column. So click on steel and select this column. And let's take here. Right column must interrupt. Now we're going to change column height. So double click on it. Scroll it down and let's take bottom level 0 on top level. 20 feet then click on modify if you want to change you can change the profile from here click on here and you, you can choose standard profile as you require from this list and then click on apply ok and close it we're now going to place remaining column so select this column and place it here like this I will come on center now we're going to place beams so select this beam and pick the first point and second point to create beam like this now I'm going to place the same column and beam copy right to mouse copy and click on here and place it here like this right to mouse interrupt now I'm going to give the connection between column to beam. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. Let's take number 186 component. You can see column with shift number 186. Select this component and pick main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam. You can see now we have the connection here and close it. Right click mouse interrupt. Click on space. Right click mouse. Redraw view. You can see. Now we're going to give the same connection at here. So go to application components and select here and place it here like this. Select the column and beam to create the connection like this. Now close this window, right click on interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. You can see. Now after placement, if you want to change this component oh, number of bolts or thickness, width and everything at once, then you need to click on here, select all. Now all filter options are off. Now we're going to activate only the component option. Then drag and select enter model against all components are selected now use the shortcut alt enter to get the common property like this now you can change number of bolts for example go to the bolts tab for example if you want to change the bolt size then click on here and select bolt size and click on modify you can see now i have the bolt size of inch uh, for all components you can see all component bolt size should be off inch now uh, for example if you want to increase the number of bolts at here for example let's take in lengthwise let's take number of bolts 4 then click on modify you can see now we have the number of bolts 4 uh, for all components you can see Okay, now we're going to increase number of bolts in width wise. So let's take here two bolts. Then click on modify. You can see now we have two bolts. Let's take this uh, plate placement at middle. So click on here and let's take middle. Then click on modify. Now we're going to change the pitch length here. Let's take here 2.5. Then click on modify. Now you can see all component options should be changed according to these options. Okay, that's it. How to change all same component options at once by using this procedure. For example, click on modify apply. Okay, click on space, right click on master review. Select this option, select all, then click on space, right click on master review. For example, if you want to change only these four components, then click on here and uh, activate only this self component option, then rotate 
rotate like this now drag and select only these four components you can see now we have only selected these four components if you want to change this component also then hold control and select this component to or to change this component and remaining these four components then use the shortcut alt enter for example if you want to change the number of bolts here let's take two and the spacing we're going to take uh, six inches then you can see zoom it click on modify you can see now we have only four bolts at here and at this location and at this location and this location but these are remaining eight bolts because these are not changed only we have selected remaining five so this should be eight bolts at this location okay like that you can change as you require components just hold the control button and select the components then use the shortcut alt enter to get common property to change the options you can change whatever you want to plate thickness or whatever let's take for example we're going to change the plate thickness for selected components so let's take here thickness of inch then click on modify you can see now the plate thickness should be off inch uh, to differentiate we're going to take here one inch then click on modify you can see now we have one inch thickness plate but this component not selected so this should be previous thickness now this component should be one inch thickness because this component is selected you can see like that you can change plate thickness whatever you want plate thickness or stiffeners or bolts and all options uh, will be applied those are selected in the model okay that's it click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse interrupt and you should activate this option select all otherwise you can't select columns or beams in the model until unless you select this option select all okay now you can select all columns and beams you should remember that before going to select the all components you should activate this uh, deactivate this option and you should activate only the component option to select only component in model drag and select like this then use the shortcut alt enter to get common property okay after completed you should select this option select all otherwise you can't select the columns or beams or grids anything in the model okay that's it about how to change all same components options in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you